hello everyone it's me asmr if welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and i just given a post which is this type of post uh, the faded indian photoshop effects so or matte indian photoshop effects so he got this poster or the announcement in my facebook as well as the youtube community tab so let's start the tutorial how to do that and let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification let's jump into the tutorial I'm closing out and go to the file and open up i am using here a stock image which is from dansplash.com and i'll provide you that download link for your practice purpose press ctrl j or you can drag this one and drop here and copy this layer i'm always copying this layer for the backup purpose and it will help you out to watch over the before one and after one so go to the filter camera filter those who are the user of the cs version oh man thousand time i'm just told that if you are the user of the cs version please check out my video description you'll get the download link in my video description for camera raw filter and if you're the creative cloud version you're getting this one free of cost or by default this one so here is small menu go to here and load settings option i made the preset indian made tone in photoshop and open it up so what i have done just boom one click you are just opening up the image is like that so what is the settings let's see the settings here the temperature minus five just for the cool effects and i didn't touch the tint options i don't make make it like a red type or like that so here the exposure i made it like this that is 0 0.03 or 30 and contrast made it little bit plus four i don't like too much contrast in the photo here minus 48 highlight just because of uh, if i made it the highlight it will be more moody or matte type so here the shadow increased that is plus 100 and the whites i made it 17 for the skin tone if i change it like that it will be like like that and if i increase this is will be like spoiled so i made this one like moderated like that so 17 is moderated for these photographs and that is the blacks i made it minus 18 just because of i want to made it the dark type that's why here i increase the clarity don't make it upper 20 it will spoil your photographs uh, in case uh, you can use that like uh, the clarity is high it will be like this so like this so if you need you can do that uh, i do like that to increase this one by athlete type photographs so that's good for athlete or sports type photographs when you're giving the you know, sweating effects or like a low light sweating effect like that the vibrance that is minus 10 i just decrease the mid tone for the moody look or matte look and the saturation minus three i just desaturated this one this one you just watching here the before one and after one before one was the traditional look but after one you're getting like moody type like uh, it's matching with the pose of the bride or the girl and it's looking like standard so it's looking the creative that's why i just done this so after that here is a tone curve here is a magic to edit like that so here the rgb tone curve red green and blue so rgb tone curve i just locked here locked here and locked here locked here if i increase these the matte tone or matte effect will increase so i just made it moderated and let's see the other one i didn't touch that i didn't touch and blue didn't touch here the sharpening if you need you can increase the sharpness uh, this portion has your assumption and you know xmp file has the assumption to change any kind of things uh, according to your photographs i don't know what is your photographs lights and the settings and the background but i'll prefer you please use the green background it will help you out to get the more uh, perfectly or precisely in a green background so here luminance i made something a little bit 25 
and here the HSL panel, most important part of the photo editing, hue saturation luminance. Hue, you know that color belt, started color and ending color. So red, I made it plus 17, little bit yellowish. You have to study all the color palettes if you want to know or if you want to be pro. So red color start in a pink and in orange orange color start in a like red and ends in a like yellow and yellow color start in an orange and ends in a green green color started in yellow and ends the purple or aqua and aqua color is started with a green and ends in a blue blue color is started in aqua and ends in a purple or violet and purple color it starts in the blue and end in a magenta magenta start in a, a like a, in a purple color and start end in a red color so how will be the color and what will be the color it will define or you can define from here that is the hue panel this one is most important part of the things of photo editing or designing just because of if you are playing with the color so you have to know how color will be changed if i make it plus value what will be and if i make it the minus value what will be the color so here the red color plus 17 orange color plus 22 yellow minus 3 and green color minus 100 actually plus 100 and the aqua plus 100 and blue that is minus 36 and purple minus 93 saturation that is 26 and the orange color you know saturation what is saturation yeah saturation is like how deep will be the color that means it will be faded or it will be more light or more deep that defines with the saturation so here the saturation 26 red orange minus 7 just because I made it faded and the yellow that is plus 52 green minus 100 and the blue plus 15 and purple just 100 minus 100 and magenta minus 100 uh, here minus 100 why I made it minus 100 just because of here is no green color I just reduce that that's why i made it minus 100 and purple and magenta as well the luminance how light will be the color uh, that means if i increase the yellow color the color will increase in the ornaments and here orange color if i change or increase the luminance it will be more white so you're getting the difference between the luminance just plus or minus value here the red luminance minus 13 orange plus 14 yellow 14 and the green minus 100 that's why uh, it's like a dark type just because of i just took the background that is the green color aqua plus 25 blue minus 30 and then the split toning you know shadow and highlighting these two things are most important yeah that's are important and here highlight what will be the highlight color it defines with the hue highlights options and saturation what how deep will be the color it defines with the numbers and here the color is 111 and the saturation 9 and the shadow color hue is 243 and saturation 9 and no lens correction issues and here i made it dehaze a little bit if i make it like that it will be hazy i don't want to do that if you like to that it will be more more and more dehaze so i made it moderated color and then camera calibration three primary colors and this color appears in these photo prominently here the red if i make it it will be like orangish so here the hue always remember that hue is a color belt here is lots of color that means if you change the hue color will be changed literally so i made it moderated color like uh, minus actually plus 12 and that's good and the saturation zero and the hue of the green primary color i made it a uh, little bit plus value just because of the aqua color here and blue primary color i made it minus three for the aqua color and hit okay so you are getting like drastically change in your photographs but creative way so before one traditional look we do love that but if 
we want to get our photographs in a creative look we can use this one so if you need you can change the color you can add any anything here is lots of things go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 if you have the nick collection or the nick that is another plugins if you want to download this one please check out my video description i'll provide the download link over there here are cross processing or lots of filters from here you can use one of them it will make it will make more sense your photographs suppose you can use this one it will be a little bit like change like that so it will help you out to make the changes so from here I'll decrease the fill color so before one and after one let's see the before one and after one you are getting the changes and other stuffs so let's apply this one another photo go to the open portion option here is my another resource file or stock file so press ctrl j or a filter from here go to the load settings option and here the indian mat and open it up so you're getting like that here i don't need here too much shadow that's why i can decrease this one and here the yellow saturation i have to decrease so you have that assumption to make it out so here highlights i'll decrease and i'm getting here the polished look and hit okay so that's good and go to the file and open up let's apply this one I like uh, uh, western type photographs this one open it up so press ctrl j and filter camera or filter and load settings options and here indian matte tone and open it up you have that assumption to change it out here you have to change the contrast and the variance vibrance a little bit yeah that's good so you can use this one uh, in a indian photographs and as well as the western photographs so uh, you are getting the things which is the good for this one and this one is a global preset you can download this one from my video description please check out my video description if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i mean signing out today bye bye